hey guys, I was trying to take a picture of that comet swan just before the sunrise in the morning or the sunset in the evening. I tried both times. It was so bright and the comet is so close to the horizon. I couldn't take it. Once I tried actually pretty close to get the comet on the screen, but it looks like just dust. I think the comet became like a sun grazing comet, you know, getting close to the sun and losing a lot of its material. Looks like there is no more nucleus to that comet. If I see other comets coming along, I will take pretty good pictures and I will show you guys. So yesterday, the SOHO Observatory, the Sun Observatory reported that Sun unleashed the biggest flare since 2017. It's not really the strongest flare ever, but it is in the recent past that would be considered as one of the strongest flares. So last time when we observed, Sun was going into this 11 year cycle of strongest flares. We need to see if the sun is going into that same cycle again. So long time ago, there was a big comet that came close to the sun and it fell apart and it became like many comets and those many comets became many more comets. Most of these comets that are coming close to the sun that are being recognized by the Sun Soho satellites are going to get mostly evaporated. I moved my scope around to see pretty good views of the comet. I don't want to like, you know, hit the trees or hit neighbor's house or something. So I wanted to make sure I can see close to the horizon. One of the things that helped me quite a bit is uh, you must have seen my previous video where I put the scope buggy to the C14. Now, I got another scope buggy uh, for the Rasa 11 as well. This is my second scope buggy. I fell in love with it. You know, one of the things that I learned when doing astronomy is like a lot of people when they look at the sky, they think they're just looking at stars. And some people know that they are also looking at comets or they are looking at planets or they are looking at stars, but very few people realize that they are also looking at faint galaxies that are not just our galaxy. It's pretty interesting actually to see the faint galaxies along with those stars, the tiny light that is coming from the sky is actually coming from another galaxy itself. So I try to take a picture of a galaxy that is 27 million light years away from us. It is called Pinwheel Galaxy, one of the famous galaxies, M101. I'll share with you guys that picture as well. If you are interested in watching these videos, please feel free to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.